kind of struck by how quickly and how within a few seconds something that's so perfectly normal, you know, people showing up on a Friday, it's a long weekend sort of, um, can become, well, life-changing. I ran down the hallway and as I ran down the hallway, Maria was coming out of her office and as she got outside her office, she just kind of slid down the wall. You know, the girls were with her, Connie was with her, and I had just told 911 that we needed somebody to come. There had been a bomb in, in the office. I'm not sure how I knew it was a bomb, but I just knew it was a bomb. I remember like she could answer the questions all very well and her answers were good and I, we knew all the information we needed to have. So the caller did a good job and uh, sometimes it surprises you how calm the callers actually are when, when they do call. At that point I think three people were already on the phone with 911. So I, I didn't call or anything but um, I kind of just stood there in shock, not knowing what happened. No one knew what happened yet. So I sat down beside Maria and tried to apply pressure where I thought her biggest injuries were. Um, and everyone, you know, we have a small office, so there weren't that many people there, and uh, everyone was kind of doing their part. One thing that I, I know is that I was not alone at all, uh, for even not one second, um, that um, no one panicked. Um, Kathy and Heather and Carly and Maureen and Connie were there instantly and somehow we were doing it together. It was really good how everybody came together and if it helped even, you know, just a little bit of keeping Maria calm, then I think that was, that was good. Um, I think all of us though were really impressed with how calm Maria was because she wasn't panicked, she wasn't hysterical, and so I think it allowed the rest of us as well to kind of take a deep breath and think, okay, what do we have to do? What needs to get done? She was conscious, uh, she was uh, shaking obviously, uh, she's a little shaky, but I think that was more the adrenaline uh, that was going through. For how distract, like how of a big of an incident it was to her and how big of an injury it was, she was relatively um, poised, I guess. It was kind of eerily calm. She just was quiet, calm, collected. She understood what was going on. Like, she was in shock, but she just understood. I remember having this distinct feeling about knowing that um, I had a job to do. It was just to just stay calm, stay focused, and then the people who are the experts, they'll know what to do. A very easy patient to deal with. Uh, considering everything much calmer than I would have anticipated. Um, yeah, she, it, it made things go smoothly. Ms. Matuzas was did a remarkable job of remaining calm on her own, which made our job that much easier in able to completely assess her and treat her and do what we needed to do. Knowing that it, things were going to be taken care of and that we just had to get to the ambulance and then the ambulance just had to get to the emergency, um, helped me stay calm and then everything unfolded the way that you know I, I, I had hoped that it would happen. Having you know gone through this experience with her and see how positive and and truly brave and strong she is it just made me realize she's m much more amazing than I even thought you know before all of this happened. I knew in my recovery that they would be worried about me because I, you know, the way in which everything happened and they weren't able to see me and to see that I was, you know, I couldn't reassure them that I was going to be okay. So um, Connie um, had invited me to reach out and I, and I was so glad that she um, made that, uh, uh, offered that. These are her words. Together we became part of the miracle that saved me. This is not a fluke. There is no reason for it. Nothing like this will happen again. I am already feeling much better than anyone expected. The outlook is positive and I am feeling optimistic. I want to return to my practice as soon as I can. It was really, really hard to go back to the office a week later. 
Um, we all met in the parking lot first so that we didn't have to go in by ourselves. And it was really hard going back in. Um, but then we found out that Maria was gonna come visit us that day. We did it as a group. And when we found out that Maria was coming by, we're like, man, if she can do this, we can do this. So again, I think she was the one giving us strength through, through a lot of it. She really is probably one of the most remarkable women I've ever had the privilege of knowing. You know, it's hard, I think, to come back to a place where something so tragic happened, but um, knowing how strong she was, it, it gave us all strength to move forward. And, and that, I think, was tremendous. Getting to know the women at my office I, uh, has been such a privilege for me. And uh, they are an incredible, um, talented group of women who um, that day just exemplified the qualities that I've come to know about them.